right solo one yes Rella. continuing on on um part two to the liver detox or the revisiting of the liver cleanse so we're going into the second remedy that um will help your, your liver honestly speaking the first one works very well very well prior the um the process which i told you to do to take via the first step which is the um the parasite cleanse with the three remedies that you could use for that parasite cleanse and then you go with the um the diet that you will be taking then the second one will be going into the um the liver cleanse itself and after that as you continue you could probably get um some like as always say go back into what neutralizing not neutralizing um go back into nutrition which is to remineralize in your body so in understanding you would grab things like sea moss the same sargassum seaweed which i mentioned you could use it as well sea moss and sargassum seaweed burro banana you can get some agave nectar to add to it you could even um separate up and add some coconut um milk into that coconut milk hemp seed milk into that as well into the the sea moss and the and the and the um the the the, the, the sargassum seaweed the agave nectar and the or the burro banana you add the coconut milk into that. You understand where I'm coming from? You add um you could add some some light berries to it. You make a drink and you, you consume that daily. Now if you use a, if you consume a, a bowl of sea moss, that will fully for the day. Except especially if you mix it with the, the ingredients which I will tell you, you would feel full and satisfied for the day. That will begin to remineralize your body. Hydration is key and nutrients is key. To begin to, 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 to further after the cleanse to bring about that healing so this is what you could use after now i want to give you the next remedy i told you i was going to give you all three remedies i want to give you the next remedy for um for the next remedy for the um so like uh, for the liver detox which we're going to go into this also leave liver detox not just focuses on your liver, but focuses on all of your liver via your liver, your gallbladder, your bile duct, and the left and the right, everything it focuses on to help you live better, right? So, are you going to it as usual? I'm going to go into it as usual. Understand? My scripture says, make it plain as day. Oh, forget my manners. Kal Halalyam Yahawa Bahasham Yahawashai Bahasham Rakakwadash. We give double honor to the apostles and prophets and elders of JMS Camp, the Noah's Great Millstone, for the bring forth the hundred percent to the bring twenty eighty-five under. However, today we deal with Herb Talk, second part of the um, liver cleanse. We've been revis revisiting on the liver cleanse, honestly speaking, with more information, of course. So I advise you all to write down every recipe that I give to you all and try it yourself. Don't take my word on it look into it see how good it is like i'm showing you look you can do deeper research and see how good it's um it works for your body and try it as well you understand don't be a here don't be a here of it and be a doer also so as the scripture says so let me go into it when it says what and the most high yahweh had created medicines out of the earth which was shown in, in Genesis chapter 1. And he that is wise will not avoid them. Because why? These were are given for our remedies to prolong your life. That's what it's all about. To, to bring to give you that remedies that the most high Yahweh would prosper that which would prosper that so it, it could work on your body to bring forth a healing process and to prolong your life in so that you can do more work. And be of service to Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. That's how I see it as nothing else. <laughs> Only to be of service of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. So let's go on. It says, <clears throat> well, like we tell you, I would have, I would have explained more the functions of the um, <clears throat> of the liver, and as we know, it also filters the blood. Because if your blood isn't filtered, you have plenty of skin issues, you have plenty of circulation issues, 
you have plenty um will not absorb enough minerals because you have plenty of parasites and other toxins in your body prevent that from happening and <coughs> you like it and you will have a, 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 a more you'll have a, a state of sugar because your body would not be producing any glycogen so guess what your insulin will begin to reduce making it harder for you to do what break down and absorb minerals it's going to be harder for your body to move in a, in a hole it's going to be able to sh begin to shut down certain parts of your body so like if the rain falling very hard but i must continue to this lesson so and this is the probe this is the purpose for the liver cleanse to bring your liver back into its original state so that it could perform its plus 500 functions daily so when it is liver cleanse it's going to send all the toxins into your gallbladder which goes into which um from the gallbladder to the bile duct and that is going to transfer to the large intestines to be passed out as feces and if the liver doesn't work properly you are going to have brain problems strains on other organs kidney and which is the kid with very kidney and your heart because when you when you when your liver isn't working correctly your kidney is going to get problems and then from your kidneys is going to fail your heart for those who don't know it's a cycle and i want to show you all this if the kidney isn't working properly and the liver is working properly you will still live but the liver is working properly it's not working properly it's going to it's going to carry down your kidney and your heart and your brain that's why it's called the liver let's continue <clears throat> and <clears throat> so like it. and of course it's going to begin to attack well, not to attack attack and um, um, cause problems with your lungs understand so the liver have to filter the blood have to from the toxins have to this the organ removes excess amount of of um, hormones as well that causes things like what breast illness i don't want to say the word malignant breast disease <laughs> um, ovarian breast disease cervical breast uh, celiac, ovarian malignant ovarian disease celiac, ovarian malignant disease and cervical malignant disease let's say it like that so it says but um, well when uh, let me put it in my words when you mess up the right and the left lobe of the liver it, it is not able to store the minerals and it makes it a lot an, an, an understanding it begins to produce a lot of what cholesterol the, and we know that because, because watch me, many people who have liver problems have high cholesterol issues cholesterol leads to what eventually forming um, a build up in your arteries there's nowhere else for it to go and this is caused thrombosis or as you know heart failure heart attacks death so we need to make sure that our body is functioning correctly and this is why i'm administering these remedies right and as i always say which is the truth the liver has over 500 functions and we need our liver more than ever to be functioning at these peak functions even as we grow older So we must try not to eat bad we must try to stay from these drugs that is given from the pharmaceuticals because when they look at the ingredients for some weird reason the ingredients in the pharmaceuticals directly target your liver and your kidney always look at every one of them majority of them if not all targets your liver and your kidney If you think a line, pick up any pharmaceutical drug, any ointment that is on your surface or your skin itself, it doesn't matter. Anyone. Look at these ingredients and then type in the harmful, the side effects of these ingredients. It directly 
it directly targets your liver or, or your kidneys that's majority of them so that when i tell you stay away from many or stay away from these drugs because these things are the uh, 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 is, um as we know damages your liver it also causes high blood pressure so you need to stay away from these things these are things that you must you must stay away from go back into the old ways what is the old ways the herbs the natural herbs the fruits the fasting you understand the way of you're taking you're eating less a day you would fast for a day a day you would drink only liquids and so coming from these are the old ways the ways we used to do things so I want to list some things that would, that, that uh, well, I would say these are the things as we know that that, that is offset the liver and cause more toxins. And let me go even further. Eating unclean meats has a lot of parasites, a lot more than the usual clean meats. There's a reason for that. The unclean meat contains a lot of parasites. And these parasites target your liver. Fluke worms. All these other worms target your liver. Do you see that they target your, um, your, 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 your food? More or less is a tapeworm. But fluke worms go to your liver immediately. Without a doubt. If you have if you have parasites, chances are you have fluke worms. And the first thing. The first thing is fluke worms, and the second thing is um the, the, the tape worms. Intestinal worms are like it. So in understanding. That is why the the, why the the initial um point was what? The parasite detox, parasite cleanse. To get rid of majority, if not all, get rid of, we can't get rid of all at the point in time. Get rid of majority and start to change your diet, change your diet thing, realkalize your body. You understand where I'm coming from? Give the body like, the nutrients that it needs to begin to rebuild itself, because yeah, how about Shem Yahusha has created the body to do that purpose? So. <clears throat> Let me go into the next remedy, which we're going to give right here. Liver disease and gallbladder disease. Now, we went through this already, I believe. But let me go, read a, um, something. It says, the liver is the largest gland in the body. The glands are organs that are similar to sponge. As you see, sponges, like, yeah, they secrete and absorb fluids. The liver secretes digestive fluids, which are stored in the gallbladder, as we, told, as we told before. They are used for breaking down carbohydrates and proteins. The liver stores at least six hours of supply for reserve natural sugar, which is processed into a glycogen, which we read, it's, which, yeah, which we give. It says, which can be used in emergencies, like adrenaline. Mmm, what gives that body that extra boost of rush? How is your body able to grab these minerals, these energy from nowhere and give you that push? How? Now you understand. Let's continue. It says, um, disease of the liver usually causes, usually causes digestive problems, which is um, sluggishness or um, that that is a problem such as one sluggishness, weakness, vomiting, headaches, fevers, weight loss, nausea, mental disorder, and it says um, hemorrhages, fatigues, and low energy levels. It says the most common disease of the liver is jaundice, which is a, is characterized by yellowish eyes. See, see, so oh, so like, let me continue. Yellowish eyes, fingernails, so like. Yeah toenails and skin it says the liver is secreting more yellow bile in or uh, in order to dissolve toxins so it's a process of detoxification that is taking place now if you don't the dicey process of this is to what help the body detox more so if your liver is doing a process of detox and you and it's it's taken a while and you begin to say you know what let me help my body must have eat certain things chemicals and compounds and all these not un unnatural stuff let me go a little bit into fasting you will begin to help your liver you begin to help your body your body will begin to begin to um, fix itself it takes three days for a human to get a human body 
of a fasting away from, from food and water to begin to fully heal your body. Three days. People don't know that. Many, many patients are, well, I would say clients, but there's even few who went through the process of the malignant disease. It took them three days to begin to heal the body. Three days it takes to begin to the, the, the destruction of these malignant cells. And as they re, 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 the, re, um, they remineralize the body, like, yeah, and they begin to eat clean and, and, and drink clean, you begin to see an overall um, change in their bodies. This is how, this is how it works. And we must pray and ask your Abashim Shai to give us that. Because if we don't, it would not work. <laughs> People just think it's just, I mean, yes, at this point in time, he have, we have mercy. But at the same time, we have to rely on your Abashim Shai first. If you don't believe in him, then you can't expect to believe in his creation. That's all I'm trying to say. You can't expect his creation to work for you. You might get a bligh. And then they get destroyed after. Where do you think? Where do you, where do you feel that, that the reason is, is um is for? Because you don't believe. Let's continue. It says, uh, the liver is secreting more yellowish bile, right, to dissolve toxins, impurity, which are impurities in the system. John does is a reaction to. It is action to this ease. It says the this ease created. The need for extra yellow bile. Drinking alcohol, sodas, vinegar damages the liver and causes the liver to get hard. See? And this is why I told you all in the beginning, when you're going to, cons to, to get a liver cleanse, what is the one thing I told you all? Alcohol. If it's any other thing, no problem. But as for the liver, because your body will be weak, it is more it is more important to stay away from the alcohol at the point in time. Of course, when you get yourself better and you can consume the strong drinks, that is up to you. But let's continue. Um well reach. Liver gets hard, which is um socorosis. So my words, the words, the words. It says all drugs, sent, sent, blah, blah. all drugs. Wait, we want to be one below. Okay, all drug drugs. It says synthetic chemicals, which we know it has synthetic chemicals in it. Um, synthetic chemicals, hormones and toxins go to the liver. All of them go to the liver. Understand? Drugs and synthetic chemicals. And chemicals made in the body by radiation, computers, television, etc. So you see exactly what causes these things. It causes your body to change, molecularly change bit by bit. So we have to be wise of these things, which is why it's very good to do a. a, a sometimes you want to take stay from te technology. It's very good to do a, a, a technology fast. Honestly speaking, if for those who can do your lesson in the morning. And stay from the phone for the day. Honestly speaking, for those who really want to get itself back in order and back in shape. So let's continue. Let's go on. It says, of course, there's going to be, there's going to be a time for that. If I, when you find that, it would come. If it will happen. <laughs> there's going to be a time for that. But anyways. It says, sorry, um, chemical in polluted waters. It says water, public drinking water, because that has a lot of chemicals that is used, which in many studies has shown to be 1% clean, because majority is based off of chemicals, which is why I don't drink pipe water. I don't drink pipe water. I would rather drink spring water or rain water. But of course, I will treat my rain water first and then drink it and you can there's many ways to treat rain water you get the moringa seeds cut it in half you power uh, mash it in the pot of foam and add it to your water when you're done you strain it out you might have a little wettish taste no problem you also can use lemons no lemons lime the sour lime the original sour lime or sour orange in your waters 
these things will help to break down toxins you can also if you don't for those who don't know make ginger water you grind up some ginger you add it to some water and you shake it up and you make a bottle of ginger water and you drink that these things help these things are better than drinking regular water because it helps your liver to break down and to remove the toxins that is placed in the water to begin with to damage your body because we know it's not to help we know it's not to clean because we have been tested and showed many times that there are simple chemicals that is used to clean a mass amount of water that doesn't harm your body and they choose not to use it even though it's cheaper than using the harmful chemicals so we know for a fact that they don't have purpose I think I would like to. I think I'll go in and bring some receipts on that soon. That would be a thing uh, um, to do, a lesson to do, of how wicked Esau is. <laughs> that would be a lesson I want to do. But let me continue. Um, and synthetic hormones, I think I read already. Water, noise, noise makes chemicals as synthetic hormones um, decreases the liver function, such as making blood thinner. See? And as it says, which is um, heparin, and we call it blood, blood clotting, which is thickeners. Um, um, I think I read it correct. Up, down. I, I, again, lost the, um, the line. I was going to read the one below, but anyways, thickeners. It's like here. All right. Constituents. Um, it says red blood cells for the fetus, blood heat, which is, uh, well, blood heat, which is, Normally, when your blood is overly warm, and that's happened to people would have, um, I think there's heat in the foot as well. These things happen when your liver is not functioning correctly. As you go further, it says, let me see, but, all right. Cholesterol, it says buffers, which is um, ammonia that re-neutralizes acidic blood, which is not good. It says storage of, um, well, if you're talking about storage of vitamin, storage of vitamin B12 and vitamin A, D, E, and K, and destroying the bacteria in the blood. So if a liver is not functioning properly, this is what happens. So now let me go into the remedy, which I'm supposed to go into already, but this is the, the, the next remedy that will help assist you in fixing your liver and bringing back your body into a particular health. So firstly, when you go into the vitamins and minerals, if for those who want to look into these and look into the first um, um, remedy, remedy I gave, the remedies that I gave have all this in it and more. But these are crucial for your liver because as we see here, it enhances healing of tissues, it nourishes the tissues, eliminates toxins, which is the most important part, stimulates cellular repair, which is very good to repair in your liver, combats toxins as we see helps rebuild the liver detoxifies the liver now we're seeing more and more how good it is enhances circulation this is this uh, and i want to notice the, the vitamins that do that eh? a enhances the healing tissues um b complex nourishes the tissues b6 stimulates cell um eliminates toxins b6 b12 um stimulates cellular repair Vitamin C combats toxins, which we know already. I did not already, so we already know. Vitamin E detoxifies, not detoxifies. It, that vitamin E helps rebuild the liver. The garlic capsules, which there's no vitamin. I think I'll mix, I'll mix it up. Yeah, no, I'll crack. Um, Nactin, which I believe is some vitamin one or something like that. I can't remember exactly how it was. Um, Naxin like which enhances circular enhances circulation. We have the 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 choline, the choline so like, which is or choline, choline so like, which stimulates cleansing. It, as you go uh, going through it, have the lectin, it have the manganese, the magnesium, the zinc, the digestive enzyme, which we know is which we know is what is used for. And I have digestive enzymes home. It's very good, very 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 good. And these are things they could use as well. But the main thing. It don't have to use that because the raw ingredients is already there. Right? So, which you can go into. No need for the amino acids because it's already in the herbs and in the foods that is directed here. So, let's go into it. It says, the alfalfa, 
the bal um baloney it have the the barberry it have barberry root it have the bayberry it have the birch leaves it have the ho the black horse horse like a radish it have the bilbo it have the catnip which is very good for your liver catnip is very good for your liver crampberry it have the um century it have the dandelion again exponential for your liver fennel amazing for your liver ginger root boy i think ginger root has to be ed or one of the best for your liver be nice with you because it removes the toxins so quick quickly i mean you add that to your meats and if there's any toxins in your meats and you consume that meat via the clean meats it breaks that toxins down immediately you'll begin to get a bowel movement because it breaks it down so fast and begins to pass it out of your um, large intestines this is the truth for those who consume the um, ginger daily you will know <laughs> you will know so um, as you go on golden seal also very good for your liver whole steel yes liver wart yes um, lob lobe lobelia which I have home here yes it is organ grape yes parsley yes Red root, St. John wort, very am amazing for your liver. A matter of fact, very amazing for your liver and your lungs and your um, ovaries for, for women. Um, wahoo, very good. Wild yam, very strong in iron, so it's very good. Yellow duck, which we told you all from the beginning, is very good for your liver um, from the first re remedy. So this is a second remedy that you all could use. Now... What is be what would be wise is that you take more of the herb itself and you make a powder form. Now this one you would have to use a full tablespoon. And this one you would have to do more of a fasting process. And when you're fasting, it tells you what you could eat: apples, artichokes, if that's how it's pronounced, um, beet, black radish, cucumbers, garlic, grapes, kiwis. Though I wouldn't recommend kiwi, but lemon juice, yes, no problem. Replace the kiwi with sour orange because kiwi is very acidic. So you place the kiwi with sour orange or you can add to replace the kiwi. You place the kiwi with turmeric and pineapples. Yeah, turmeric and pineapples right there. You add your cucumbers. I mean, you add your um, pop, 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 papaya juice, the papaya salakia, or you can add the... um. Now, the, now, I would say, as we, uh, if you're eating this, figure that. Figure the, 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 the turmeric. You take your, your pineapples and cut up some celery with it. That would, that would make the exact, that would do the exact same thing that kiwi does with less acid. Kiwi is very acidic, for those who don't know. Even as it enters your body, it remains acidic. But they are acidic food for a purpose, to remove certain things that your body can naturally remove, as we know. So everything has its purpose. But... To add that much in your diet daily would be a problem for your liver. So, pears and it says red beet juice, which is also very good after. You can also include your drinks, should include um, coconut water. I would like literally your drinks. It is easy for those who go into the liver cleanse in this particular remedy. To make um, juice or drinks via on the same thing. You can also mix for a drink that you want to make coconut water, and you can get um, blueberries, blackberries, and um, we call this thing by not mulberries, blueberries, no, nope, don't worry about strawberries, blueberries, blackberries, and elderberries in some co coconut water. And you can add uh, some agarinate uh, or honey that. That could be a drink while you make these things for those who want to make, make it a different um, thing. Make it like a how that custom eating or drinking. You could do it like that. It will work fine the same way. The purpose is to remove the toxins and the parasites from your liver for better health. Now let's like, go into what we see. Let me see if I grab it right there. Right, I want to go into ginger. Right? Yeah, I hope they have the the um thing for ginger here. Ginger. I want to go into ginger. 
Ginger is very, very good. I don't know if they will have it here. They probably don't have it here. If they don't have it, it is what it is. But after doing some proper research on ginger, it's actually one of the best for your liver. Liver disease, the, the how it has, as you see, liver disease, this is ginger. Ginger is very powerful. Very powerful. Have you seen it here? Hay fever, tendinitis, allergy, nausea, ten, um, vomiting, right? Most effective we've seen it all here. Bronchitis, blood tick, you understand? Chest congestions, cough, high cholesterol levels, sore throat, motion sickness, throat irritations, acid reflux, dizziness, headaches. It, it, it's it's an overall proper plant or proper root that you could take as a substitute for many others. Of course, it would not be able to give that fix for, for any other without an assistant because we have herbs that assist main roots, right? To bring about a, a purpose of healing, right? So this is just to give you an example as to how powerful ginger really is. And the one of the things which was called out concerning the, um, the illness of um, liver is jaundice, right? And we're seeing jaundice right there. Highly effective against our jaundice. These are one of the cures for jaundice, for those who don't know. So, dealing with the liver, we're seeing right here, if it have hepatitis B as well, it's supposed to have it here. If it don't have it, then it is where it is, but I'm fine. Hepatitis right here, see? Right here. So now let go down low up, it is it's supposed to be all, it's supposed to be registered, but if it does, there's not, it's not really an issue. Then as you go into what? The actions of ginger, antibacterial, anti-inflammatory, antispasmodic, um, laxative, testosterone booster, which we know does work, antifungal, yes it does, antiseptic, anti-detoxant, I'm sorry, detoxant salakia, yeah, which it does, and um, synergistic, which also works well um, for it. So it's a highly effective antibiotic, which we know it's used for. It is antioxidant, aphrodisiac, brain enhancer, liver tonic, see? Not only does it fix liver diseases and, and, and many, if not majority, of the liver diseases, but it also is a liver tonic. So, like, okay. Right, so, as you go further, I see liver tonics, stimulants, um, tonics, nervine, immunity booster, blood thinners, um, antiviral, anti malignant disease, I don't want to say the word, stomach ache, effective. Most important, as you see in here, but I want to get to the most important one as well. Um, if I could find it. If I could find it, we good to go. If I blood purifier. Um, expectorant. See that? Very important. This this is this is ginger, yo. This is ginger. Just ginger alone. Nothing else added to this but ginger. This is ginger for those who don't know. And the part you could use for ginger. Let's see if I get it. Well, as you say, the root, the oil, and the rhizomes, which I assume would be the leaves because you just use the leaves in trade to make um, teas for those who don't know. And it's very nice. It, have, it makes a very nice tea. So this is ginger right here and this will be the part two to the um remedies which we go and go back to list again this will be the part two to the remedies i think i have one extra part for the liver but that will be the last part um this will be the part two for the liver i do go downstairs that's what i get called for so um and that's why I'm saying this. These are things that you could be that can use to fix your liver at this point in time to help your overall health for things to come. Prepare yourself. Prepare yourselves. Firstly, we prepare ourselves in, in your bashi Shai, and then guess what we're doing? We're making sure our temple is proper. <laughs> it's clean, or at least somewhat, because the foods, everything is defiled. So at least in a in a good state, a good-ish state, until your howasha returns, right? So, let me see if I um, add anything else. So, this is it here. Go back into the herbs. This is the list. 
take notes it's here i could screenshot it take notes this is the food that you'll be consuming at that point in time and the process for this would be a one month process now just a reminder two weeks of the liver cleanse via the herbs here and then you're going into a fruits and veggie or, min or a remineralizing diet the remineralizing diet will give you the, re the remaining which you see on top here the vitamin a going down to the digestive enzymes to boost and build back your body for proper healing you would see if for those who have jaundice or yellowish eyes or any things breaking out in their body in two weeks time of this cleanse everything will go away you will feel a lot better your liver will begin to function well again now when your liver begins to function after two weeks do not add any toxins back into it keep it away from toxins for the rest of the month and then after you could go back and eat in your regular way which is we use the meats and the veggies clean meats only the unclean meats damages your liver it slows down the process of removing toxins because it's an unclean meat. It's a reason why your how about shy made, made, made sure that no one, even Moses, separated the clean from the unclean. Because the unclean will get rid of you. But anyways. I think I want to do a lesson as well concerning many of these um, products that has many chemicals in them that will be that is un that is, that is unsafe for our consumption that will cause problems over, over a period of time if you don't pay attention to them. As well as if you're using during the time of stay away from MSG completely. MSG is in majority of your seasoning. For those who don't know what MSG is. MSG is vetsin or monosodium glutamate, which is vetsin. Stay away from that, please. All Akiams and Aquats, when you're buying a seasoning, look into it and stay away from it. Stay completely well away from the compounds which are monosodium glutamate, MSG, or vetsin. It causes high blood pressure, it causes heart problems, it seizes up your veins and arteries. And I'll just give you an example. If your veins and arteries are seized up, stiff, and you move, it begins to cause pain because it slows down your circulation process. This will cause faster heart problems, faster brain problems, causing strokes, and heart attack in other words it will give you a peak form of what we know as thrombosis blockages of your arteries over a period of time please stay away from this vetsin or msg which is known as monosodium glutamate monosodium glutamate stay away from it i hope this lesson was edifying we say Shalom Yasharala, Kal Halal Yam Yahawa, Bahasham Yawashai, Bahasham Kakodash. As usual, we give double honors to the apostles and prophets and elders of GMS Camp, as well as Great Millstone, for the being for the 400 percent truth that being currently edified under. Shalom to the elect. Shalom to the tabernacle of David. And I am your brother, Kazak Yasharala, saying to you, Shalom.